Hello and welcome back to The Film Club, the club where we discuss films that we've been recently watching, seen. Let me know in the comments what you've been watching, if you've seen the film I'm about to talk about, comment what you thought about it. I was always going to be excited for another Wes Anderson film and so when the trailer for Astro City came out I was like, oh my god. I mean this might go down as genuinely one of the most stacked casts for a film ever. I mean let me just read it out, like... <sighs> Scarlett Johansson, Tom Hanks, Margot Robbie, Adrian Brody, Edward Norton, Rupert Friend, Brian Cranston, Stephen Carell, Jeff Goldblum, Tilda Swinton, William Dafoe, and not to mention some of the other people who are not like massive names but still incredible actors, Maya Hawke, Sophia Lillis, sorry if I've said that wrong, Jason Schwartzman as the main character was absolutely perfect. He played this role to a absolute T. I've got to say though, a standout was Steve Carell for me. He was in it for like five minutes, but every time he was on screen, it was just an absolute joy to watch and I loved it. I really enjoyed Astro City, but if I'm being really frank, I think I prefer older Wes Anderson now. I loved things like Moonrise Kingdom and, and Fantastic Mr. Fox, where, where we actually got a coherent story that didn't make me need to focus and think like, what the hell am I watching? These dual narrative things are okay hey but it doesn't serve a greater purpose for me at least for the whole film i would much rather this whole film have just been about asteroid city and that just been its own story without having the whole switching narrations and the other story because i didn't really get the other story to be honest that might just be me i might have just not got it and that's that's on me but personally i would have much rather this film just have been in and about asteroid city that's not to say that this film isn't absolutely a joy to watch because of the asteroid city part i mean this this might be one of the best set designs ever. The fact of how incredibly precise everything is blocked out, the, the, the camera movements, the way people are positioned on the screen. The set designers have just outdone themselves because everything and every part of the blocking and the camera movements is down to where the set is. The set is perfection and if anything was out of place then the shot would not be right. It had this like nostalgic but cool but almost realistic but super realistic feel to it. The whole set and like essentially town that it's set in just helps bring you into this world and, 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 and into the story. I mean obviously we know by now with Wes Anderson you're gonna get incredible set design, incredible camera movements, camera setups, blocking and shots are just his tea but I don't know if the story writing and the stories are as much. For me personally anyway, that's, I'm speaking frankly about it. But regardless I still had an absolute blast with this film from incredible performance, comedy that actually landed, I had a lot of people in my cinema like Laugh, actually laughing at the film. The music was incredible. Everything was incredible, like in terms of a film creative and cr film created standpoint. I just wish these films would sort of tone down the story a bit because I watch a film like this to just enjoy a story. I don't want to think and philosophize about all these different meanings behind different scenes and, and things like that. But maybe I'm just too stupid for Wes Anderson. Anyway, if you've seen this film, let me know what you thought in the comments below and I will see you next time on The Film Club.